All right, so today is going to be pork chops with sweet and sour peppers and roasted potatoes. So stick with me. We'll see how it turns out. And I'm leaving some size on these because I want them to have to be cut to eat. Not so big where it's ridiculous, but enough where there's flavor to each bite. I'm going to use a little bit of lemon. Make sure you don't get any seeds in, just in case. And then, salt and pepper. So, potatoes, olive oil, pepper, that's my salt. Just a little lemon juice. All right, ready, and here we go. All right, sweet and sour pepper is pretty easy. It's gonna be peppers, a red onion, uh, sugar, salt, pepper, red wine vinegar. All right, so a couple of things I learned how to cut peppers. Trying to cut them like this or like this doesn't work. So cut the stem off, put it upside down, find your center point, cut out onion. Magically, peel. Abracadabra. One finger ahead, two behind, so I'm not cutting my fingers off. There you go. So everything's all sliced up, ready to go. Olive oil. Get it straight around a little. That's what I want here. Sugar. That'll help caramelize. We are going to do some pepper, salt, and a little dosing of smoked paprika. Flip. Pork chops on. One, two, three, four. All right. So, what? Butter. Butter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up on the side. This time, I'm going to render the fat down. I'll take a little bit of oil. Okay. Perfect. Just a touch of pink. So that was it. Pork chops, sweet and sour peppers, roasted potatoes. Pretty easy to do. Nothing terribly complicated. Uh, timing on getting all the dishes together at the same time so the peppers don't go completely mush before you get the pork chops done. Eh, that's practice. It took me about, I don't know, 37 times to figure it out, but I finally did. That's recipe number two. Thanks for watching and happy cooking.